Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Okay, in the last episode, we unlocked a shit ton of levels, but I only have one of them on my eyes at the moment. Why would I do that? Okay. Well, anyways, yeah, I only have one of them on my eyes right now. And that's a very specific level that I love for um, a very specific reason. It is my all-time favorite level of any Nintendo 64 game to ever exist. I got 56. Now, it is a moderately difficult level. Um, there's a lot harder levels in this game. But this is when the game starts to pick up, in my opinion. So, um... You know, you guys can see the whole screen, actually. If anything, this is the best the screen's ever been. Um, so, here it is. I always have to have a little bit of my TV in the background, just so I can kind of get an idea, make sure I got the whole screen in here, if you guys didn't know that. Um, just, it's a nice thing I like to do with you guys. I, I, I really respect your... I respect your opinions. So we go into Bubble Gloob Swamp, which I've been here before, before we even went to Clanker's Cavern, and uh, I was just kind of getting one move here. So we don't even need to look for the move. That's kind of a nice thing to do. Let's kill this frog here just for health. Everything's full. Okay, good. So right here. Oh, what's in there? There you go. Oh, yummy. Frog just like that. That's a cool voice. And he wants yummy egg too. Okay. I remember you guys exist now. Stop using this voice because it's kind of getting scary. So grab these waiting boots here. I would love saying that so much to SLT. And back here is a mumbo token, which you might want to grab. There are ten here. And you're going to need to keep count because you're going to lose like 25 of them, I believe. Something like that. Not 25. No, not that. You silly cousin. No, 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 no. We should have 25 by the end of this, if anything. No, 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 not 25, no. Um. No, no, I got some jiggies, some mumbos in, uh, Grunty's Lair. Alright, let me get that thing right. I was counting only the levels mumbo token. Which is wrong. So kill both of those, and grab these waiting boots first. I'm gonna do this first. I usually do this last, but it saves a lot of time to do it first. Walk back here! Usually leaves. Is it appropriate that Banjo's a bit of a redneck and he's in a swamp? Because, uh... So turn him off with B, you can do that, if you didn't know. Uh, hold A on here. And while you're up here, if you didn't notice that, do that. There we go. So I'll just remember we have one mumbo token here. And, uh, we'll keep count like that. And the Jiggy! You know, I think I missed a Jinjo already. Already missed a Jinjo. Wow. Yeah, I don't have this level as well memorized. I have it memorized though, don't get me wrong. This is a good level I haven't memorized. One more token, here come both of them. Okay, I actually figured out that in some games, some versions of this game, I guess, or something, the mumbo tokens are actually called Uggum Juggum or something like that. I don't know if it's the guys made up, or if it's really a thing in the game, in like Europe or some crap, because I am not European. There's eggs, I don't need eggs. Um, yeah, check all those, uh, cattails for things. There's always some nice stuff in those. So right here, don't worry about anything on your way up, because, um, you're gonna see the timer is very tight on this. If anything, this is one of the tightest timers in the game, next to something that's much later in this game that's much, much worse. So I use Kazooie for the whole thing, because she runs at a much faster rate, and I don't know why I went back to grab that note. That was a stupid move. And right here, stop being Kazooie. And uh, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. And there it is. Not hard at all. But that was a pretty tight time limit. There's one that's even harder than that in this level. And I will show that. In my, it's in my opinion, it's harder. So right here is our first Jinjo. Or no, second Jinjo, second Jinjo. Sorry. Sorry, that was a fail. That was our first turn. Okay, we got the third Momo token up here. Here we got fast. We're getting decent fast, aren't we? We're getting them fast. Rather quickly, I must say. And right here's another one of them Croctuses. I don't know if only the green one is called Cro Croctus, or if they're all called Croctus. Uh, someone who's like an expert on this game, or 
made this game. Oh my god, I, I, I love you. Anyways, um, yeah, anyone who has any info on this game, they know the actual thing. Tell me if it's actually the one is Croctus or if they're all Croctus, because I'm interested. An ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Oh god, frogs! Frogs! Froggies! This is actually easier than transformation in this level, but I'm gonna do it in Spanish. I'm just be a dick. A dicku shrub. I just gotta keep whoa. Jesus. I say dicku shrub too much in some piece. Ha ha! That was weird. That, uh, that worked so well. Yeah, actually, I actually can't believe it worked so well. Yeah, you guys can die. That was like music there. You're too tough for us, Flippin'. Take our gold! Okay. That's, uh, you gave me quite a bit of honey. Which is kind of golden, I guess. I like the gold effect in this game. Unlike most Nintendo 64 games where the effect that you do with gold items looks like complete bowl. I'm sorry, guys. You just can't do gold for crap. Rare actually got the nice little shine thing down with this game. And if you played Donkey Kong 64, you'll know they did a really good job in that one too with the gold effects. And I like the gold effects in this game. They, they really they really are some of the best I've ever seen. I, I, it's really hard to get the golden color right in a program. I know I've tried. We hit the switch here. Ooh. This is all rock stars, that statue. All hipster. So we go up here. Break that hut. And just for the record, I love breaking the huts. I don't know why. There's also, a, if you're playing the Xbox. Oh crap, what the hell? Excuse me, Mr. Soccer. I'll have to get this forest mumble token. Absolutely vital to our success. And why is it failing? Focus on Croctus. Or just the crocodile robot if it's not actually Croctus. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know. This is a dark level. What the hell? This is a dark level, so it's gonna mess up my phone a little bit. And the Jiggy! You got it! You got the Jiggy! That was pretty funny. There we go. Better little Zelda reference there. That's, that, that really fills in the spaces of the puzzle. Really fills in the puzzle. Put in some Zelda references. So, actually, that's a good that's a good idea for a comments question. I'm gonna try to have a comment question as much as I possibly can. Um, what do you like better, Skyrim or Zelda? Because I've actually, uh, that's a question that's popped up a lot over, over the past couple of months for me. Um, some people ask, like, like, which one do you like more, which one's better, or all these arguing and stuff. So I'm gonna ask you guys, let's just get the straight out answer, which one's better by how many people like it. Zelda or Sky, or Elder Scrolls in general, really. I'm just thinking just Skyrim. We'll include Oblivion and Tomorrowwind and all them too. And, um... And we can't include Fallout if you're including Elder Scrolls, because I know they're both by the same people, and they're both very similar games, just Fallout has guns, and it's, uh, I'm actually not a very big fan of their games, but you know what, Bethesda, you guys, I know you're putting a lot of work into your games, I can tell, so you know what, I'm just gonna say that you're doing a good job, if I just run out of and that kind of thing, that's the thing, I'm not, I'm not a big, I, I never was a big FP, uh, F R Oh, it's RPS for you, oh, RPSs. Um, I never was a big RPS fan anyways, to start with. I never did. The only RPS I really played that far was um, Borderlands, which I actually beat. But that was like the only RPS I actually liked all that much. And I thought, like, yeah, it was the first one I ever played, and I also, everything else was like a rip-off of that. And I guess I got pretty far, I got pretty far in Dead Island, too, that was that one a lot. I was actually playing an LP in that game for a little bit there, like, winding it, and I was like, nah, screw it, this game's too hard. So what I'm gonna, thank you, thank you, sir. Get over here, thank you, I wanna provide more thanks, thank you. Thank you, sir, thank you so much. So in the next episode, we will see what's in this, this, this room here. There seems to be, uh, dangerous water with piranhas in it, somehow they fit in that little thing. So, in the next episode, we will see what's behind here, and maybe get behind this gate to Mumbo's to, um, place here. Hmm, we'll see. See you next time.